Let's talk about trade ideas around this Deutsche Bank crisis. Hey, very good evening to you traders. Mark, welcome to your daily trading video. Okay, a little bit of a background. Um, Deutsche Bank is in trouble. Put it in a really short sentence. They've got about 16 billion or 17 billion of equity and 163 billion of debt. There's other factors involved in it. Go and have a Google, have a look around and um, look at some of the economists' approach and analysis of it as opposed to mine. But I'm just looking from a trader's perspective. If we look at what happened yesterday, now news came out, this is Deutsche Bank, this is the ADR, so this is the US traded one, this is much easier to get a quote on than if you haven't got a subscription to a German stock feed from Frankfurt, you can get the ADR which is good enough um, in the US. At about this sort of time, if you look here, we've got 25 past 5, it came out that a lot of the institutions were pulling their money or were stopping the credit. Now, this is the thing that causes the crisis or causes banks to fail. It's not necessarily retail pulling the money out from a bank run, which obviously well, that doesn't actually help, but it's when other banks won't lend or when other banks start to pull capital, when other banks start to be concerned about counterparty risk. So this news came over the wires around this time and Deutsche Bank, as you can imagine, started to get absolutely hammered. And it was down about 9% at this point. I think at the end of the day, down 7%. Really, really bearish chart anyway, regardless of even the small bounce off the bottom. And if you look at it from a bigger, longer term perspective, you know, it's pretty down. It's down an awful lot because of this situation massive volume yesterday this thing is just getting started so from perspective of trading how did that affect the market well number one look at the way the market kicked into a three minute here. look at the way that we just started selling off and the volume started picking up at exactly that time uh yesterday the dow was happily sitting there you know oil was up we had some good numbers we had some decent earnings from some couple of big stocks it was down a little bit it, it was all poised for a little bit of a ping pong back and forth and a bit of a rally up and i'd actually positioned for that yesterday go and check out the video um but you know look at this volume kicking in here volume came in just to the deutsche bank news hit and we just crumbled and crumbled and crumbled and that's just institutions just hedging off exposure selling futures across the board Obviously, the DAX is the one that's going to be hit more because it's the German uh, index. It's going to is relevant to Germany, and and Deutsche Bank is a constituent of the DAX. But again, just look at how that was smacked later on in the afternoon. We were sitting here, and then all of a sudden, when the news came out, half past five. Don't forget, this is after hours, by the way. So for the DAX, so this is just the DAX futures. We just took a real hammer to the downside. So, what, what, what's what's the play on this? Well. The, the, the way I'm looking at it is this. You've got Deutsche Bank is in trouble, and the way out of this is for the Germans to bail them out. The trouble you've got is that the, with the elections coming up, it's almost political suicide for Merkel to bail out Deutsche Bank now. However, the pressure is going to be put on the stock and on the government to bail out. And so is there enough time? You know, this is this is where the trading interesting gets from a trading perspective. Pressure's gonna be put on the stock, there's gonna be continued downside pressure on the market until an announcement is released. But if they do that, of course, then domestically, how does that sit with the voters with the with the um with the electorate? So um and also the other other issue is the bigger repercussions of contagion. You know, does it affect other European banks? This is the unknown thing. This is why we're getting such a, uh, an aggressive selling and hardly any bounce in Deutsche Bank. So from, let's look from a trade perspective. Trade perspective, the number one thing you want to be doing is having a, a chart of Deutsche Bank up on your screen. If you're day trading it, or even if you're not, it's just seeing what is going on. And if you're not day trading, then I would recommend setting some alerts above the high or low of the prior day or putting like a, a, a decent range on it. So set a one day thing and say I was having an alert here at 13 an alert perhaps at, at 10 and a half give yourself a bit of a range because you know what if we have some news coming out that is going to affect the DAX it's going to affect the Dow everything is being influenced by this at the moment so the way I'm looking at it is this if we do get some news coming out Deutsche Bank is going to rally it's going to rally hard shorts are going to cover there's a lot of hedge funds are positioned for a collapse there's a lot of people who are shorting to hedge exposure if it comes out there's a bailout we're obviously going to get a rally that is going to be passed on to the DAX and the Dow and there's going to be probably a multi-day rally from that if not just a good strong update so there's opportunity there when there's, op there's opportunity when we get the news at the same time as everyone else is getting it 
and when we get that good news then there will be a rally the other thing is of course is if we just get continual down movement so i'm going to keep that deutsche bank chart up and if we get another selling wave coming in on deutsche bank that takes it down five six percent the dax hasn't quite responded yet then one of the trades for me is going to be to jump on the short side of the dax assuming some sort of news has come out which has caused deutsche bank to get hit so using deutsche bank as a proxy for a dax or dow trade is looking to be probably the trade of the next couple of weeks depending on what happens with the bailout one thing to bail out or not one thing to note quickly guys is that it's a long weekend in germany on monday so friday today what's going to happen are we going to get people hedging worried about something over the weekend or the other way around do we get people positioning expecting there to be some sort of news so definitely keep deutsche bank up on your watch list db is the code if you tra you can look at the usadr or if you're using ig um or one of the others then you can just look up uh, on the german feed and just put in deutsche bank just to keep an eye on what's that set some alerts and that's good enough rather than having to be abreast of all the news the stock is going to tell us exactly what's going on so have a great trading day today or i hope you had a great trading day today whenever you listen to this have a great weekend and i'll be back with another video on monday take care